In this exercise, we're going to practice uploading a text file into an array, sorting the text file, and then writing out the new text file. So to get set up, you're going to create your processing file, and you'll need to make sure that you have added to your data file. So you'll want to go into Sketch, Add File, and add it to your data file. I've already done that, so we can look at this by going to Sketch, uh, show sketch folder, you'll see that there is a data folder in here, and I have a text file named cities.txt. <coughs> Excuse me, and that's full of just a list of cities in McHenry County. Working with text files is very, very easy in processing. We're going to load the text file into a array. And it's a string array because it's an array of strings, an array of cities. So we're going to use the load strings command for cities.txt. Again, that has to be in the data file in the processing program. And it's going to save it into an array of strings. We're going to need the length of the text file because we're going to use it when sorting it. But we're going to demonstrate that by using a print line. There are plus cities.length because we're using the length of the array plus lines. To sort the array of cities, we're going to create a new array, sorted. We don't sort it into the original array, we have to sort it into a new place. Sort cities, comma, cities.length. We could change this and just sort the first three or five or ten cities, but since we want to sort the entire length of the array, we're using cities.length. So this will display the original file. We're using a for loop for the length of cities to print line cities. Then I've got this just to break it up so you can see where the new one starts. We're just doing a print line, sorted, and then we're printing the sorted one. And then we're going to save to a new file, which is save strings, and you give the name of the file, and sorted. This doesn't end up in the data file, it ends up at the same level as your program. Let's give it a shot. So everything's going to the console, so that's where we used a print line. So it tells you there are 26 lines, it reads in the file, and then here we have the sorted file. That file has also been created as a, as a plain text file, which for me will be in my documents in the sort strings folder. It created sorted cities.txt. And that's what it should like, look like when it's sorted. You're going to do this as a practice problem. I've given you the cities and the code. You'll write the code and you will test this and you'll hand in the sorted file and your code for the homework for this week.